cleaned it up with, with this council. Um, there's two elements to it. One element is that we're asking you to phase in the taxes over seven years, similar to what we did for Swiss Army. Um, so you would phase it in over seven years. The second part of it is uh, to share the taxes with the city of Bridgeport and uh, the town of one uh, town of Trumbull. Uh, and the reason that uh, to share the taxes um, is is because of, without trouble, who spent millions and millions of dollars to put in that sewage system, and without Bridgeport, who has the sewage plant, we wouldn't have this project in Monroe. It wouldn't be possible. Um, we we have some numbers that I'm going to pass out uh, to the. Do you ever see those numbers? <coughs> So the, 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 the bottom line is the bottom line is that the revenue, the revenue that the town would receive in taxes from this project is any place from two to two and a half times greater than you would see from a shopping center or a Swiss apartment. Uh, without the problems of a shopping center, uh, without you know which is, which which are problems is probably. You probably would have more police calls to a shopping center than you would have to the, the Jewish home. Um, and, and basically, we have, you know, this is the location we want to come to. We have a backup location in Trumbull. A lot of people uh, feel that Trumbull, be being closer to the Merritt Parkway, might be a better location for the Jewish home. But we have came so far down the pike with this location that we want to stay here, here, until we, until we can't stay here. Okay, our goal is to get this done here. Um, and I think it's important to realize that what Bridgeport has given up, uh, Bridgeport has given up capacity in their sewage plant for their own development within their own city. So if you're asking the community to give up their own development, you need to compensate them for that. And that's what this tax share is about. It'll be the first time in the state of Connecticut that there's been a law passed that allows this to take place, but it'll be the first time that we would work as a, as a regional community for the betterment of everyone. Um, and I think that, you know, I'd just like to finish up by explaining how I would like to try to proceed. Um, one is I would like to, because I have puzzles that have the all fit to keep the puzzle moving ahead. I need to get this part of the puzzle done first. At the same time that this is being considered, I'm going to go to your TP and Z, Town Planning and Zoning, and ask them to make an amendment to their regulations in that retail zone that would allow this facility to go into that zone. Uh, that's a relatively simple thing to do. I don't need a, a complete set of engineering plans. It's a simple thing that you either accept the amendment or you don't accept the amendment. Once I have that amendment that's accepted, and hopefully that, that goes okay, uh, then I would go at, at the same time and finalize my paperwork, my documents with Trouble and Bridgeport. I need to do four agreements with those towns because I have to deal with not only the town, I have to deal with the WPCA. So I have, a, I have a lot of paperwork to get done, and I need to get, them, I need to get it done in, a, in, in, in pieces. So I, this is my most important piece, because without this piece, I can't move ahead with Trumbull and Bridgeport. So um, that's, that's the presentation, and you know, I would like to open it up to, is that what you'd like to do here, open it up for